Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Why did God say that specifically? Because this was something new. There was nobody on planet Earth was not black. Besides this, besides this moment here, everybody was black on earth. That's right. So this son, this child was born red. I see you listening right here. Who on this earth is red? Who is red on this earth? There's people on the earth that are red. Who are they? Who is red? The Europeans. You go down south, what do they call them? Rednecks. Rednecks. Where's the sign? Let's get, let's get the sign. We have visuals for our people. So, Edom, right? Come on, continue reading. So the first child was born red. Like what? And the first came out red all over, like in hairy garments. Like in hairy, this this child right here, what came out red and hairy. Should I remind you of somebody? You ever seen that Geico commercial with the caveman? That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the European race, the Caucasians. Read on. And they call his name Esau. Esau means wasted away because he had no pigmentation. He looked like he was wasted away. That's what his name means, Esau. You understand? Now, if that's not, if that's not enough proof for you, let's go to Obadiah, Obadiah 1. You understand, Will? We're trying to show you who your enemies are. And this is all in the Bible. Your pastor's not going to teach you this. He's going to give you an answer like you just gave me, the devil. But who's the devil? The devil is a deceiver. Who's the main deceiver on this earth? Right. I'm going to show you who he right. is. Right. Obadiah 1. Start verse 1. Obadiah 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. So this scripture right here, this prophecy is against Edom. Edom is red. So we're going to talk about the Edomites. We're going to talk about the Caucasian race because it's in the Bible. Read on. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. So even though, you know what I tell you about that? Even though the Caucasian race is the main na nation on rulership, the, the nation don't like them. Think about it. This, this, this man can go to places like the Middle East, right? So let's say Iran, Iraq, and set up U.S. embassies, and guess what? As much as they don't want them, want them there, they can't do anything about it. Because America right now is militarily, right, is, is one of the strongest countries when it comes to military. They can go to any country they want and set up embassies. You understand that? We don't? Verse 3. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. So it says this nation is proud. It's proud. Think about it. What was, what, what was Donald, or Donald Trump's slogan? Let's make America great again. He can say that, and we all, we all know, we should, at least we should know as black men and Hispanics, what, is, what did he mean by that? To make, what do you mean by that? Let's make America great again. Bring it out. I'm asking you, because you live like, you know, you've been around some time. What, is, what, is, what does that mean? Make it more stronger. What? Make it more stronger. And how so? rising up and get and, and to, to, to power that's what they call the, the, the triple and 60s because during that time blacks which actually waking up to who they were they're waking up gathering together and trying to have some kind of black unity black power so their slavery they, they didn't worry about that they knew that we was in
subjection, we couldn't read, we couldn't write. He was fully, we was fully dependent on them. That's what he meant. But he can go up publicly and say that because they're, they're proud people. They're prideful. That's why they killed Martin and Malcolm X. Absolutely. So they could stop that unity. Absolutely. Because they knew that they was waking up out of that spell. But if they knew if they got rid of Malcolm, they could shut everything down. Absolutely. Malcolm was waking everybody up to the most. Absolutely. But guess what? Even though that happened, um, we right now, we are the what? The ambassadors that are going to set the true example for the people. Because we right now, we are the true prophets. But I guess you, and then after they push drugs in the communities, put it back to sleep. So let's go back to the scriptures. Read on. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. So it says that this man, this nation of Edom, they dwell in the clefts of the rocks. Anybody have any idea what the word Caucasian mean? Who knows? We have to, we have In the mountains, in the Caucasus uh, mountains, no, the mountains of, of Russia, Georgia. My bad. Caucasus. Caucasus, my bad. The Caucasus mountains Georgia. of Georgia, Russia. Yeah. Look, look, look it up. That's what they call the Dark Ages and the Cavemen. That's what it. That, that's what they are. We're not the cavemen. They are. Don't get it twisted. We were. We always had civility and power. You understand? So they were the. They are the cave dwellers. The word Caucasian means cave dweller. You know? Whose habitation is high. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to that, And that's what we hear today. America thinks they'll never be taken down, but they will. America is doomed. It's doomed to be taken down. That's right. You know? That's right. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Uh -huh. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And that, right, that, is the, that is the key point we want. God says they exalt themselves as the eagle. What is America's national bird, national symbol? It's the bold eagle. And not just them. We the, the Greeks, where's the sign at? The Greeks, the Romans. Right there. I want you to step up closer. I want you to step up closer. You see it, Will? You can see it. Watch the read again. Know that so far? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So God says that the Caucasian race, Edom, exalt themselves as the eagle. The Greeks had an eagle coin. The Romans had an eagle coin. The Spaniards had an eagle coin. America has an eagle coin. Yes. Because an eagle, what does it do? It preys on smaller rodents. Right. So as America, see we're as the Caucasian race. It preys on all the nations. The weaker nations. It, all, all the weaker nations. That's what they did. They conquered Africa. They conquered America. They conquered Central South America. They conquered Haiti. Right. They conquered almost all the planet Earth because it was, because it's in them. That's what God blessed them with. God blessed them with what? The art of war. So God says they exalt themselves as the eagle. Read on. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. When did that happen? 1969. They said the eagle has landed in the moon. That was a pivotal time in history because at that time nobody has done that. America claimed the moon to themselves. Put an America flag on it. God says, the, God, it was prophesied for that to happen. Be that part again. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down. You see that? Meaning God, he, he is going to bring this country down through Christ. Christ is going to do it. But I, th I, I brought this out to show you that what? That the, our enemies have always been and are the other nations. That's you understand, right. Will? That's right. So don't get, don't, don't get confused with the, America, with the American facade. Yeah. We cannot trust these nations. Right. You understand? For now, you got to get yourself right. right. You, so you got to get yourself right. Because in order to uh, achieve the kingdom, and all of us here, you know, for us to achieve the kingdom, we must do a certain thing. Right. To keep the commandments of God. We got to do it. We gotta keep the commandments of God. Give me that in uh in Psalm and Matthew 19. We gotta bring it out. You understand? Because knowing all this is good, but at the end of the day, um, Christ said that. Matter of fact, the Bible says when we when 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 Satan casting out Satan, meaning you um you cannot you cannot condemn the white man when you yourself are not right. You understand? You, you can call the white man the devil, call him our enemy, but if we ourselves aren't right, it, it don't mean nothing. Oh no, I don't. He said he looks more ugly. He says Christ is more like an animal. He looks more. So where do you get that from? The description, the Bible. The Bible. It, it, it says he's he is uh, Middle Eastern. What's what scripture? The bronze. All right. So you when you read that you get an Arab man. Yeah. 
All right, let, let, let's get it. Cause I, right, so you heard, you heard the question, you heard the statement, right? So Will, you heard the statement. He said that when you read the description of price, he gets an Arabic, an Arabic com, uh, complexion. Now, we're gonna read the scriptures and I'm gonna ask you if you see the same thing. Watch this, give me Revelations 1. Yeah. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So we're going to read the description or the revealing of the, of the Messiah, of Jesus Christ. Read verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. This is John the Revelator. He hears a great voice behind him like you hear right now. A great voice. So he turned around to see who was speaking to him. Read on. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and, th and what thou seest, write in a book. So we're going to read what John wrote and what he saw. He saw something, he wrote it down. That's what's called the description of the revealing of the Messiah. Give me verse, give me verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the hairs of Christ on his head were white in color and woolly in texture, right? Now, who on this map I'm asking you a question because we have two images here. This man right here, what kind of what kind of hair does he have? Is it more like a, more like a sheep or more like a horse? This man right here. Like a horse. Now, wool don't come from horse. Wool comes from, wool comes from sheeps, right? So, the Bible says his hair and his hair were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? You do, Will. You understand? The blacks and Latinos have woolly hair. You have woolly hair yourself. That's right. You understand? So that's one strike on that man. But, do you get any kind of Arabic description so far? Because I don't really see Arabs like that rocking Afros. Unless they're the Afro-Arabian, which more likely there are people. I've seen woolly hair. Uh... It says woolly. It says woolly, not curly. It says woolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay. So let's continue reading. So it says that his hair is his hair were white, white like wool. And when you read the old dictionaries, the definition of wool was always was always described as Negro like hair. Yes. Sir. Always. You understand? So he had obviously Christ right there. Let you know he is what Negro complexion because he had woolly hair, just like you, just like him, just like you see the sister right here. We're we're Afro, out, we're woolly out. That's that's what Bible describing Christ's hair as, as woolly like, like hers right there. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. We know that because why? Christ drank wine in moderation. All right, don't get confused. A lot of people read that and they say, look, Christ used to smoke. Christ, you know. Christ drank wine in moderation, making his eyes a red, a red color. You understand? Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet were like unto fine brass. Real, what color is brass? Right? Well, bra brass is a color of brown, is it not? But let's see what kind, what kind of brass was it. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. So that you burn anything in a furnace. You burn steak, it gets black. You burn rice, it gets black. You burn toast, it gets black. So according to the Bible, Christ is what? A black man, not oh, no a right. Arabic man. He's black. Do you understand? So don't, don't, don't. I don't, I don't get that from. We get that from my Discovery Channel and whatnot. Don't listen to them. Right. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. National Geographic. Yeah, you get that from the National Geographic Channel. They try to say he's Arabic. No, he's black. Yeah. He's dark. You understand? We must know that. We must know that. Because give me that now in Matthew 24 and 24. Yeah. Because they, we, in order for you to know who the real Messiah is, you must get it off the Bible. Because today you're gonna have, you're gonna find many false descriptions of Christ. Right. And with those descriptions come different, different understandings, different teachings. Watch this. Matthew chapter 24 verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. So the main, the main uh, false Christ that we've been seeing in, 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 in the churches is this image right there. Which is really Caesar Borgia. He is not the Messiah. He is a false Christ. A lot of people can't see it. That right there is a stumbling block to our people. They, you, you try to tell uh, 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 a devoted Christian that Christ is not white. Yeah, they're going to rip your head off. But that's the truth. Christ is not white. He is a false Christ. Read on. And false prophets. And guess what? Your pastors that you see today, they're false prophets. They're false pastors. Your TD Jakes, they're false prophets. They're not real teachers. Read on. And shall shoot great signs and wonders. And so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And many of our people have been deceived, thinking that he's Arabic looking, he's Arabic, he's white. No. Christ is black. Christ is black. That's what it is. We gotta understand that. And you wanna know why? You wanna know why you may ask 
just smiling and bring back to the topic. I was telling you about keeping the commandments. I can't forget that because that is the whole purpose we're here for. The whole purpose we're here, us to be here, is to what? Show you the right way to live. That's what we're here. You understand? Give me, matter of fact, Titus chapter uh, 3, verse, verse 1. 3 and 3. You have any questions, Will? All right. Right there, my man, my man with the suit. Two, my, my two brothers with the suit. You have any questions? You listening? You sure you have any questions? Watch this. Give me Titus chapter 3. Because what we're doing right now, we're, we're the, actually that living example, sister. We're not here because before you came, a sister had come and said, you cannot judge us. Now, there's two types of judgment. You have a judgment unto condemnation. We cannot do that. That's what the Lord does. He's the ultimate judge. But guess what? There's a judgment unto correction. That's what we're doing. We're going to judge you unto correction. Meaning, look, sister, you cannot. I'm going to show you. What your, your, your way of dressing right now is actually what God, God says. And don't take it as, oh, what? No, it's what it is. Watch this. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Because none of us here, you see, none of us here were born reading the Bible, keeping the commandments. None of us here, we all had to learn from somebody and change. We were all sometimes foolish. That's a why, that's a weird that living example. We can, uh, we can go up here and tell you not to do things because we have all come up with different lifestyles. That's right. You know, so some of us used to sell drugs, we don't do it no more. Right. You know, we, some of us used to go to clubs. We don't do that no more. That's right. right. We used to smoke weed. We don't do that no more. That's right. That's what we can come out and tell you, brothers and sisters, listen, don't do that because we right. we have changed for that way of living. Right. Watch me on. Disobedient. You know? Deceived. We were all, at one time, we used to think Christ was white. We used to think that, but we understand and read the Bible and understood he is not Arabic looking, but he's black. Sorry, What's your right. question? Oh, I'm, I'm not saying you though. Yeah. I'm talking about us. Like I'm, I'm talking about yeah. us here. So and not, I'm not saying I'm talking about us here. A lot of us used to think Christ is white, but we we, we changed. We, we read the Bible. We understand he is black. You know, right. serving diverse lusts. Now that's heavy. So all of us used to serve serve a different lust. You know what lust is? I'm gonna show you an example. Some of us here, or some of y'all might be fighting with smoking cigarettes. That is a diverse lust. Right. Example: Do you smoke? What do you smoke? You smoke cigarettes. It's what we listen. You gotta stop that. I'm gonna show you that. That's sin. That is a lust that you're, right. ba that you're battling with. Right. And some of us you here used to smoke. We used to be heavy weed smokers, right. heavy cigarette smokers. Right. But the only thing that can change you is the word of God. Right. You understand? Right. Like, are you are y'all together? Right. Now, are y'all married? Right. That's that, that, that's wrong. Right. I mean, you must you must guess what? You must get paid for these papers because no, no, I'm not giving you anything. That's what it is. Because as long as y'all dealing with each other sexually. Without marriage papers, that's fornication. Right, and that is a lust. Because at any moment, walk, no, walk, at any moment, you can walk her out of her life. She might be heartbroken, whatever, go through some time. Then get another man, and, and you go with a different woman. Well, that, that is why we're in this condition we are. Right. You understand? Hey, my brother. The brother said, don't give any ideas. Don't give any ideas. Don't make her start thinking about marriage. All right? That's, that's what that's what you so were saying, man. Right? All right, so give me Exodus 22, verse 16. Yeah. Well, the brother yeah. it out good, right? Because I'm going to show you something about God. God gave us laws. Yeah. And these things are that make moral laws, civil laws, show us how we're supposed to deal with each other. Yeah. All right, so yeah. listen to what he said when a young man <laughs> kicked that game to his sister. Bring it out. Something happened. Yeah. Listen to what he said. Yeah. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. And if a man entice a man, so he entice you. And she like, oh yeah, he cute. That's my type. And then she like him, right? Ooh. That is not betrothed. And he was not as close. He was not betrothed to another woman. So he was like single, right? Come on. And lie with her. And what? And lie with her. So this lie with her represents what? Sex, sex, sex. You lie with her? Right. No. Is that it? No, he's a girlfriend and he does have a relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend. No, no, sex doesn't mean a relationship. You could have meetings. Okay, I just want to show you a point. That's not it. The scripture continues. Listen. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Read it all together from the beginning. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, you talk to her and she not exposed and lie with her and you have sex with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. God 
said you supposed to take it to be your life. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.